Hello, friends. I'm back again at uh, the end of quarter two talking to you. And, and uh, if you remember, at the end of quarter one, we laid out a few priorities for us. And I'm happy to report that we've actually made significant progress uh, in how quarter two panned out. Our first priority was to get back our India business. There was a little bit of a challenge in our trade generic business. And I'm happy to report that our teams have worked extra hard. And the trade generic business has actually grown 60% uh, sequentially. And then uh, we had a priority of bring, making sure our branded prescription business was on growth, uh, on the growth track it is, uh, and has reported very decent set of numbers at 13%, which is industry beating. Uh, a second set of priorities was really around making sure that our compliance and control environment stays the same, and we've been able to do that. And of course, each of our core markets has demonstrated good growth. So the net result of all of this coming together has resulted in top line growing by 10%, EBITDA growing up by 21% year on year, and profit after tax going by 25%. So it's been a great quarter. Uh, and uh, I think I'd like to appreciate and thank every single Cipla employee uh, for all the excellent work that has been put in into getting the, uh, the trajectory for the company right. So we have lots of opportunities and things to look forward to in the, years, um, in the year ahead. But more importantly, uh, we're also humbled to the fact that we have to provide for each one of the patients across the world, the right standard and quality of drug that goes out of the Cipla gate. Uh, I want to talk to you today about uh, my recent visit also to South Africa. It reinforced uh, the, the strength of our business. It also reinforced the amount of goodwill that we have in that market for all the work that we do as part of our social foundation. And I think if you look at the South Africa numbers this quarter, um, we're seeing 12% growth, 13% growth in our private market business, and that's how we like to see our businesses uh, uh, every, uh, you know, every quarter on quarter and year on year. Uh, we've done, we're moving significantly with our progress in the specialty side of the business. We've um, got a nice, uh, the Zemdri acquisition, we've just shipped and built plasomycin, which is an antimicrobial resistance product, um, and we are on track to filing our tramadol NDA. And then coming back home uh, in India, we are looking forward to a good, uh, good balance of the year. Uh, in the US, our business ended up at close to about 135 million uh, in the last quarter. Um, it's still growing, and we expect to see growth uh, even on the base business going forward uh, in the next two quarters. So all across, whether it's India, South Africa, it's our API, and, e and the, um, uh, the European business also grew significantly. So if you look at all our businesses, we are firing strong. Um, and at the same time, we have a lot of work to do that we're doing uh, as outlined earlier in terms of our key priorities. So looking forward to talking to you again at the end of uh, quarter three. Uh, but thank you for uh, the confidence, faith, and partnership that CIPLA brings to you. And thank a big round of thank you to the CIPLA employees who've made this transition from quarter one to quarter two. Thank you very much.